Hey guys, what's up? I'm Megan and he's Seth and today we are outside of Steamboat Springs, Colorado with Snow Buddy Dog Sled Adventures and we are about to go dog sledding. You're going to want to make sure that you show up at least 15 to 20 minutes early. Why you ask? Well, you're going to want to give all of the dogs pre-sled pets. Then it's off to the tent to make sure you have filled out the necessary forms. This is a good place to get warm and wait for other groups. After that, it's time to learn how to be a dog sled captain. So the black cable coming off the front of the sled, this is called the gang line. You're gonna have somewhere between uh, seven and 10 dogs on your team, depending on how much uh, weight, how many people you have on your sled. But uh, the dogs essentially, if you're looking at these little yellow ropes and the little cables that come off in front of them, um, they're going to fill the void on each side of this cable between that rope and the, and the smaller cable. Okay, so these longer ropes are called tug lines. And then in front of them, we have what's called a neckline. Up here, this uh, turquoise rope that's coming off the front, that's just there to stabilize the lead dogs at the beginning because as we hook up the rest of the team behind them, there's a tremendous amount of drama that unfolds. The dogs get really impatient and all they want to do is run. So we have to, and it's a training technique that we use to hook up the leaders first because that indicates to the dogs who among them will, will lead, who's going to be connected to the driver by their voice. Um, and then the rest of the dogs follow in line. But um, doing that, we do end up having the leaders up here for the longest amount of time. So we stabilize them with this rope and then we pull it out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to hook them up first. So we'll get all the dogs harnessed first and then we'll start the hookup process. Um, please know that that's, that's kind of a time sensitive issue. So if you do need to adjust your wardrobe, go to the bathroom, any of those things before we get started, do that before we start harnessing. Um, once we harness and we're starting to hook up the teams, if people start disappearing into the woods, we can have dogs chew up harnesses and that kind of thing. We'll have property damage. So, um, so once we start hooking up, we're going to start with the leaders. There's a little colored loop or a long piece of rope that comes off mid-back that you will grab onto to lead the dog to its position. And they're very nice about this. They like being hooked up. So you'll hold on here, you undo the dog's collar, and your guide will help you with this. And then you're going to bring the dog over to the very front of the gang line here where these long yellow ropes are coming off. You'll put the toggle here through the colored loop on the back, just like that, and then fold it into the big opening on the end of the tug line. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you're gonna call the dog forward and you'll hook up what's called the neckline, again, to the big ring on the dog's collar, okay? So same thing back here. Then I'd bring up my swing dogs as the dog's right behind the leaders. I find that yellow line, hook the harness up and call the dog forward. If you start to get confused, just remember they need to be facing this way, right? <laughs> so sometimes people bring them over and they're looking for the cable and they turn them around. And I understand, I mean, it, it gets, it's a lot going on. There's gonna be a lot of barking, but just keep them moving this direction, okay? So this break is gonna be for very aggressive slowing. So always when we're going downhill and also for stopping. This break will be for real gentle speed control. This is only a one footed break. So if I'm using this break, I've got one foot here on these bolts to create some traction for my foot and also good contact with the line. And my other foot goes up on what's called the runner on this grippy piece of plastic. So these long pieces of wood that span the length of the sled are the runners. Ready, hike! <laughs> All right, Megan, so we've done our first leg of the trip. What do you think about mushing? It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard work. It's definitely hard work controlling seven dogs. <laughs> gee, gee. Gee, gee.
Alright, so we are here at the halfway point. When you book with uh, Snowbody, you get to switch. So you learn all of your stuff in the beginning. The first driver goes to the halfway point there, switches. The other person gets out and gets to drive to the halfway point here. When you're here, they surprise you with uh, cookies and some warm drinks because it is freezing. But absolutely amazing the dogs are so in sync they're so cool the views here are absolutely just beautiful after you have warmed up in the tent with your homemade chocolate chip cookies and hot chocolate it's time to go back out and get your picture taken with these amazing dogs you can purchase all pictures at the end of the tour just like this one after pictures it's time to harness all of the dogs and get them tied back into the sleds this part is very loud and a beautiful scene of controlled chaos. Each dog knows it's time to run again. And I really think they could put themselves back together with how well they're trained. After this task is complete, it's time to hit the trail and head back to the trailhead. Ready, hike. Once the expedition has been completed and you've arrived back at the cabin, it's time to help unharness all of the dogs and help put away the sleds. At this point you will pay, purchase the pictures, and leave a generous tip because it's so worth it. Feeding the dogs is next and they look so serious about food time. You are responsible for feeding your team and making sure that each dog eats according to its rank in the pack. Take your time and make sure that each dog gets the right amount of food. Alright guys, so there you have it. We were out at about 8.45 this morning. It's 12.30 now. This adventure, this excursion is 110% worth every penny. You know, not only are you helping a family survive, um, you're helping dogs that would otherwise either be probably euthanized or, you know, just not have the opportunity to do what they were bred to do and what they love to do. And all of these dogs absolutely seem like they live, breathe, eat, <laughs> sleep, play dog sledding. It was tons of fun. Like I said, absolutely worth it. If you get the opportunity, I'm going to link their Facebook, Instagram, and website down below. Even if you don't plan on coming out here to do this, at least consider supporting them by liking them on Facebook. Follow them on uh, Instagram. Check out their website. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.